Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're keeping really, really well and having a great day. My name is Marcus and today we'll be talking about Revolut and N26. So in today's video, I'm just going to give you um, an overview of N26 and Revolut and some of the features of the cards and, and how you can take advantage and make full use of them. So um, just a bit brief background about Revolut and N26. So N26 is founded back in Germany back in 2013 so it hasn't been here like more than 10 years but you can see that there's a growing demand and um, a lot of people are using that card so um, to date there's over 5 million users for N26. Revolut has been founded back in 2015 uh, in the UK and um, to date there's over um, 12 million users so you can see that the growing initiative of Revolut and N26. I think when I first signed up, I think they gave me 20, uh, 20 euros of free um, free cash when I signed up for the account. So you can see that they're always growing and marketing their, their services. So that's that's um, a testimony of how fast it's grown and how fast it's expanded. So let's just run through um, some of the features of the it. So in terms of signing up, it's pretty simple to sign up for both N26 and Revolut. So basically you just take out your phone um, you can download it on the on the App Store um, with your um, Apple Store. <laughs> Sorry, you can download it on the App Store. You can basically download it on um, Google App Store or the the iPhone App Store. So you can just download it, and then pretty straightforward. You just take a picture of yourself and then take a picture of your passport or your identification. Basically, just send it on the app, and basically they'll review and approve it. I think for N twenty six, they they wanted to video call me to see my identity. Um, so it's pr pretty straightforward procedure, very easy to to do it. So nothing too complicated in terms of in terms of low fees. So N twenty six and Revolut both have low fees when you compare it against the high street banks. So um, in terms of first of all, they don't have maintenance fees. So. It's, so for Revolut, no maintenance fees, N26, they don't have maintenance fees. You can, If you compare it to some of your traditional high street banks, you will notice that um, the high street banks, they might charge you like 2 euros every month. So that makes up to like 24 euros per annum. Some of it charge you 450 um, per quarter. That makes up to about 18 euros per annum. So it, it adds up. But if you use these kind of digital online banks, you don't have to pay maintenance fees. So that's pretty good. Um, the next thing is that there's no minimum amount that you need to maintain so it's pretty handy. In terms of cash withdrawal, if you go to the ATM and withdraw the cash, so basically um, N26, they give you 5 ATM withdrawals, after that they charge you 2 euros per withdrawal. For Revolut, they allow you to withdraw up to 200 euros free, after that they charge you 2% um, commissions when you withdraw cash from an ATM. So in terms of foreign exchange processing fee, so for like traditional banks, they have like foreign exchange processing fee, especially when you go abroad. Um, it, it's, it's somewhere between the range of 1.7% to 3%. Um, for these kind of like Revolut and 26, these kind of digital banks, the foreign exchange processing fee is much lower. In terms of foreign exchange fees for, for Revolut up to 1000, you don't have to pay any foreign exchange processing fee. After that, they charge you a foreign exchange processing fee of 0.5%. N26, they don't charge you any foreign exchange processing fee. So if you're overseas and you do a lot of foreign exchange, um, you might want to use N26. Um, if it's more than a thousand, if it's less than a thousand, then um, either might want to use Revolut or N26. Either one is, is fine. It's better than you use your traditional high street banks. To really give you an example of this, so for example, you go to London, you spend an evening with your friends having dinner and it costs 200 euros. So basically, when you want to pay this kind of foreign exchange processing fees, since it's less than a thousand for um, Revolut, you don't need to pay any zero percent foreign exchange process. You pay zero percent foreign exchange processing fee, and twenty six, you also pay zero percent foreign exchange processing fee. Um, this is in contrast if you use your traditional um, high street high street banks. You can see the fees here. Um, it's it's much higher depending some could be much higher so it's it's much more worthwhile for you to use um, these kind of online banks especially when you do this kind of foreign exchange um, when you foreign exchange transaction because you will be converting your euros into um, sterling pounds. If you're withdrawing cash overseas abroad um, N26 charges you a 1.7% fee when you withdraw from the ATM abroad um, Revolut, they don't charge you up to 200 euros. After that, they charge you 2% fee. So if you're if you're going to withdraw more than 200, it might be better for you to just use N26. If you're withdrawing less than 200 from an ATM overseas, for example, 
uh, UK so it might be better for you to use Revolut. The high street banks could be much higher somewhere between 2-3% so you can see, see them here. I think one of the really good features about Revolut and N26 is that they have the for Revolut they have the vaults, N26 they have something called spaces. So basically you can just store, it's pockets of areas where you can store money. So for example if you're saving for a holiday, you're saving for a car, you can just put uh, put it into the vaults or spaces and then there's rounding. So for example if you buy a cup of coffee for um, 2 euros 90 cents, you can, it basically rounds off the 10 cents into your um, vault or your spaces. So you can set that up and then yeah that's pretty convenient. And uh, in terms of security that you can use, there's a virtual card, especially if you do a lot of online, online transactions, online shopping, you can use the virtual card because there's a virtual number on that. On the app, you can see the virtual card number. So it makes, it protects your original card number. So it just provides an additional level of security, especially when you do online shopping. And then when you're not using the card, you can you can um, you can disable the virtual card online. So that's pretty handy. I think one of the the things that makes it very handy is because they do an analysis, so you're able to analyze where your money is going to. They they show you a chart. So if you're spending your money, a lot of a bulk of your money on eating out or a bulk of your money on online purchases, you can see it on the app. There's an analysis, so that's pretty helpful. We offer Google Pay and Apple Pay for both Revolut and N26. Um, so if that is something that is very important to you, um, this is this they do offer it. I have a friend; she actually uses the the Apple Apple Pay Apple Pay on her watch. So personally, I, I don't know if it's very safe. Um, especially if you go to a bar and you get so drunk, and then your friend could be like just tapping on the the contactless payment for you. <laughs> so yeah. But um, either way, um, you can use Google Google Pay and Apple Pay. It's offered by both of these online digital banks. In terms of the coolness of the card, like you just want swag and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so basically, um, Revolut has a very cheerful color. It has like um, a blue-purple color. It's very vibrant. Um, N26 has a very sleek, modern look in terms of having a transparent front-back background. So um, it has a very modern, like cutting-edge modern kind of card. The material of the plastic feels a bit thinner than your traditional high street banks, but it's it's still um, both of it still looks relatively cool. So I, I think both of them deserves a point in terms of coolness. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's it's pretty easy to use, um, very convenient. I, I mean, I, c I can kind of see why a lot of working professionals, young professionals, older professionals are using these kind of digital banks because of the low fees, the convenience of um, especially banking abroad and transferring money you know because when you transfer money overseas and back and forth it, using these kind of traditional banks is still more expensive um, using these kind of online banking it's much lower uh, one of the things I noticed is the the for when I top up my Revolut it basically tops up very fast so like when I top up my Revolut the money transfers immediately there's no issues um, for N26, sometimes I notice that it might take a one one or two days before it reflects on my N26 when I top up from my traditional bank up to my N26. And then sometimes if I if I top up too many times, it might charge me like um, a 3% top, 3% additional fee. So that's just something I realized. Um, basically, the, it's, it's very helpful to use this kind of... Um, online digital banks i think it, it gives you um it's very accessible to everyone and the low fees makes it very attractive um and the fact that you're able to monitor expenses and stuff so i really hope you found this video helpful um i'm gonna link it down in the description below um, do let me know um, which card you're using um some, what are the things you like about the card and the features and the things that you found that could be improved upon do let me know down in the comments below. I'm just going to link the details of the cards as well in the description below. You can check that out if you'd like to. Let me know in the comments below. It gives me an opportunity to include and incorporate more information into the videos. I think that when people contribute and um, share their ideas in the comments, it starts the conversation going and everyone benefits from that and everyone becomes a winner then. So thank you so much again for watching. Um, if you have any any additional questions, leave them down in the comments below. Be sure to smash that subscribe button, ring the bell notification. Thank you so much again for watching and bye for now.